back to a Simply Simple Live. Today I will be sharing with you guys um, a video of what I have been melting with my Scentsy. I have been gone for a bit uh, with my Scentsy items here as well as like my little videos of just sharing my recipes with you guys. And that's all I've been focusing on this channel is just my, my love for Scentsy and my love for cooking for my family. But uh, today... I'm sharing with you um, what I have been warming for the past about maybe month, month and a half now. I do apologize. Um, uh, it's taking me a while. Everybody's been sick, kind of. We've had the late season of flu into the home. So everybody's been sick. Now it's my, my turn second time around. Um, but I'm trying to get over it. So let me just start off by saying I have been enjoying the spring. And I have been loving my spring bricks. Um and one of those um bricks or actually two of them that i've been melting away is the uh, the pina colada cha cha and the mojito mambo that came out in the brick form last i think spring and i'm still waiting for the bricks for this spring i'm waiting i'm waiting i hope sensi releases our bricks soon but we do have these two scents into the bar size like this into our new catalog but um, I wanted to go ahead and start using up my bricks. So as you guys notice, I used up three of my um, cubes, my brick cubes with the mojito, mojito Mambo. Mojito Mambo is a nice refreshing lime. I, I don't think it says it has lime in there, but I can honestly smell the lime. Lemon and lime and the hint of that, um, the, the mint, the freshness of it. So it's refreshing and clean. I love it. So how I break my um, my bricks, if you guys have these huge bricks, is first of all, I just kind of separate it when it's still into the shell. And then I just move it. And then each cube, once you take it out, once you separate it like that, the um, the, the cubes start popping out. It should, um, oh. Once you start separating it into that clamshell, it's easy to pop out. With one cube, I do cut this into fours. And then I'm able to um, to use one cube into either four different warmers or be able to um, to put one cube into a warmer and enjoy it for about at least a day. I enjoy a cube for about a day to three days um, into, my, um, into my warmers. Okay, so, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, that's Mojito Mambo Refreshing Clean Scent. Love that. The other one that came out into a brick form that we also have into one of those um, Scentsy bars is the Pina Colada Cha Cha. I like this. Mm, if you like pineapple scents, if you like the smell of that dull pineapple whip uh, over at Disneyland, um, this is it. It's, it's just nice. It's clean, refreshing as well. Uh, perfect for springtime going into summer or enjoying it all throughout from spring to summer. It's a really nice... Um, uh, fragrance of uh, freshness into your um, home as if you're having your your own like little Mai Tai celebration kind of thing okay the other um, brick that I have been enjoying as well is my Scentsy sugar brick this is sweet it's um it's sweet it's very girly it just takes you back into a childhood of just like um innocent and just playfulness I don't know Scents brings me back memories but um very nice even my boy jonathan he's what 18 he likes this into his room as a as a sweet scent so really like that girls love that as well the other brick i have been enjoying is my ginger and spruce so this came out during the winter time now ginger and spruce i like it i'm going to be using this um, into my home especially downstairs into my open concept because as you guys know it's one of my favorites because i just had this last um winter winter time and already i've gone through one two three three um cubes and then working on my fourth one so that tells you how much i have been enjoying this and loving this because i'm very um stingy um with my with my bricks i kind of want to like savor it even though i have backups okay so i do have a backup and a backup and a backup of this but the scent for me really it has a good throw it performs really well it lasts a long time so again I do cut them up if you guys notice that I get a, a cube and then I cut it in four 
pieces and then I just put it into these slots so that it's easy for me to take out. You see how thin it is. Um, that is one. This will last up to like three or four days. If it's in the bathroom, because the bathroom is a small confined space, it lasts about a week, okay? I'm very satisfied with this scent, ginger and spruce. I feel like it's um, refreshing. It has that, like that pine tree scent to it, but not too Christmassy. Um, and then it has that note of the ginger. I feel like the, the ginger is not overpowering and neither is the spruce. It's just a very well combination of the ginger and spruce that makes your home feel like it's, um, it's welcoming. So when you have your, your friends over, or if you just clean expecting company, this is a nice scent to put in there. So it overall, it carries over. It goes into the flow of the open concept of upstairs, hallway, stairways into the kitchen. And again, that's just one into my um, living room area. Sorry, I'm using my phone. Living room area, and then I have one into my um, kitchen bay window together. It just really brings a nice scent. Okay, so now I am going to talk to you guys about... Oh my goodness, I I haven't discussed with you what I've been warming. And to be honest with you, I made a video and then I threw some of the clamshells away. But I think those clamshells that I threw away was already a little bit of something from my last video and then I just finished it off. So I do apologize. Um, I'm going to show you my favorites and what I have been really, really enjoying. You guys know that I'm late in the game of the sweet plum pastry but sweet plum plum pastry i have been truly enjoying that for the past maybe almost a year now and at first i didn't like sweet plum pastry because i felt like it had that very strong burnt smell to it and it was very sweet i loved it just as much as i got accustomed to blueberry cheesecake and really loved that as well so if you like the reason that i I'm talking about sweet plum pastry but yet i have blueberry pancakes is because sweet plum pa um sweet plum pastry is no longer into our catalog but blueberry pancake is i just started melting my first bar of blueberry pancakes even though i bought a couple of these during the fall and winter it came back again during the spring and summer i'm so glad it did because if you like sweet plum pastry um blueberry pancake i feel kind of takes a little bit of that there is a little bit of similarity in the sense that they both have that sweetness note to it um and then they have that note of that burnt um blueberry pancake doesn't have as much burnt note to it as the sweet plum pastry but it does so that if you cannot get this because it's no longer available, this is um, Bring Back My Bar. If you added it onto your Sensi Club like I did, I still get a shipment of this every time I get my Sensi Club. But if you like uh, sweet plum pastry, definitely grab one of these. Try it out onto this new catalog. <coughs> I'm sorry. Having a little bit of a cut. So really still hard, still very congested, but I really wanted to make this video. And I just opened this up maybe, gosh, maybe a few days ago. And already I went through three cubes. And that's a lot for me <laughs> um, in that sort of a, a span. It's nice. It's sweet. Um, it smells a bit like the, the blueberry pancake uh, maple syrup in the morning. Really nice. And again, you guys know Sweet Plum Pastry. It's one of the favorites in here. A lot of uh, consultants and um um customers like it because of that sweet note to it so like i said if you guys like that one that i'm truly 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 in love with right now it's my my go-to and then i took out an item from my sensor club and added um accidentally in love in there i love this when it first came out last spring and summer i did not buy as much as i hope i did so this summer or this spring all the way through the the summertime until we have this into the catalog i am stocking up because i love this this is accidentally in love went through a whole bar within a week or two and then opened up another one and then already i'm halfway done with this accidentally in love oh, i love it it brings a smile on my face it's refreshing it's clean it's sweet it reminds me of like a like a hawaiian punch but add more stuff into it to make it more sweeter and more fruity um 
but it's nice for me to put it into an open concept living room when I'm expecting company or when I just clean the house or when when the parents of the kids coming over drop off the kids for a play date or a sleepover and then I feel like okay well, you know when I open the door when they open the door or I open the door for them I want them to feel like oh wow what's that it smells really nice this is my go-to scent for that one it really smells good I just put one cube because I have three or four warmers into my living room and then I don't change all of them at once I leave them on um they're on but then I'll change one a day to one warmer so that it seems like all the scents are coming in from all those warmers but really that one scent is just coming from one warmer that's how I kind of save on on these um cubes because I'm stingy with my cubes um and then the next day when I don't smell this anymore, I'll go ahead and change um, a scent on a, on the next warmer within that, that space. And I'll change it to where, because this is still has that scent in there, but it's now light. I'll change it to where it can coincide with it. It can go with it. So it's not kind of fighting it. So for this one, I can go for like a pistachio, uh, pistachio ice cream or like a, a lemon verbana or a lemon uh some sort of a like a lime a lemon sorbet kind of thing so i put in something that kind of coincides it so it's it's working together to give more uh more new fragrance kind of thing okay so that i love that love accidentally in love also love no longer available but is in my sensi club is beach um there was an empty beach that i had i went through that let me see if i went through another one yep another one so within the last time i talked to you guys i've gone through three three shells of this so this is empty this one has two again a very nice performer open concept it works there as well it's um refreshing and clean like you're at the beach um but yet it doesn't have the the smell of the sun <laughs> a filipino i i tell my kids you smell like arao meaning you smell like the sun and they're like what does the sun smell like it just you know it doesn't smell like um like you've been out in the sun kind of thing and and i don't know must i don't know what i don't know what auto smells like i don't know what the sun smells like but there is a distinctive smell to me of the sun it's not that <laughs> it's a good smell of the beach all right so i like this i i have this on my sensi club and I intend to keep it onto my Sensi Club. So if you guys don't know about the Sensi Club, as long as you have it on your Sensi Club, you will always, always get it, even though it's no longer available, like the um, Sweet Plum Pastry and the Beach Bar. I'm currently, like I said, I have my Accidentally in Love in there. Okay, so Make a Wave. I went through one whole bar of that. This is our Warmer of the Month. Is it currently May or was it April? It was with our, um, I think April, it was with our, our uh, mermaid glass. So it's okay. I like it. I like it. I did use it in my open concept. Like again, it, um, it, it, I needed two warmers to have that, that one cube in there for able to, for it to be able to perform into my liking of how, how strong I want it for that open concept. Okay. So got that. I finally, this was in my Scentsy Club. I think I took it out to put Accidentally in Love in there because I have plenty of bars on this one, I felt. Use a dragon, but I finally melted it. I know it smelled good. I am My mother-in-law had it at her house. She bought um, my one bar that I had during the, um, the time that the Bring Back My Bar came, I think last January, last year. So when I came into her house, I'm like, what is that? It smells so good. She goes, oh, it's the Yuzu Dragon that I bought from you. So ever since then, I have not melted it because I did not have one, but I did add it onto my Sensi Club. And just now, a year later, getting to warming it. And it's nice. I like it. It's, it's refreshing. It's clean. It does make your house um, really smell um, the way I like it. So I'm more into the this scent and and beachy and island and clean and refreshing those are like my really go-to scents during the spring and summer come fall and winter i do like my sweet plum pastry scents of like a blueberry pancake those kind of sweetness to it and speaking of sweetness caramel sugar cone came back into this catalog oh my gosh caramel sugar cone is just nothing but caramel it's just caramel it's straight up caramel 
and sugar and the kids love this into their bedroom i love it into my bedroom as well um it's my go-to um sweet scents now one of my go-to sweet scents okay so i went through a bar of um passion fruit colada so okay that was just, just one bar i wanted to use this up to be honest with you because making sure i'm not late for work but i wanted to use this up to be honest with you because it was um sweating so when there are uh, changes in temperature are some not all some of our um, bars are more susceptible to the sweating the sweating is when even like the empty clamshells i don't know if you guys can see this those are wetness inside the stickiness inside the clamshell there are certain blends of scent that when you mix it together um it's easily susceptible to the change of temperature from cold to warm and especially on hot days um some arizona is like 100 degrees right now but over here as you can see it's, it's a beautiful weather but we're still in our 50s so we don't get as much of the issues with the wax melting as i did when i used to live in california 90 degrees kind of thing um i don't have that problem here but if you do have that problem into your area just make sure that you keep your 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 wax into a very cool uh, cool place that's away from the sunlight away from the heat away from it going from up and down with their um, temperatures otherwise you'll have a you might have an issue with them um, melting and then also 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 if you're new to Sensi do not store them like this you got to store them flat because if they melt and I this happened to me last year I think last summer um, I think it was thunderstorm thunderstorm and it was blue like this color it melted out of the clamshell and into my container it went into some of the wax kind of thing so it was like just i had i was able to clean it up i still used it i used it until it was gone it's still usable when it melts that way but then it creates such a big mess and you don't want to deal with that so always store like this cool um cool place okay this was good pina colada or i'm sorry passion fruit colada um i just wanted to use it up i have a few more of those i don't um i didn't mind it i liked it it's just not a, a strong of a performer for me like uh, my other favorite okay happy birthday i went through a bar and then i also threw another empty um bar away um like i said because I, I i did a video but it was like a while back okay so i have that oh nope that's not it okay i just want to make sure i don't have another one but i went through a whole thing again into my sensei club again a very very favorite with all of us i love this it brings a smile to my face too so this is good as well with um blueberry rush oh blueberry rush okay so blueberry rush and this together creates a really nice combination um but i like it by itself i'm not a mixy kind of girl because <laughs> if i'm mixing it i'm using two cubes right you guys know me i'm very stingy with my cubes so i've tried it it smells really good but i can be without it so if you like mixing things um blueberry rush and happy birthday i heard is really good from other um consultants other um customers i tried it myself it's good as well i'm a one i'm a i'm a one flavor girl or a one um scentsy bar girl so then i'm using one cube at a time right okay but it's so good it smells perfect in a bedroom in a girl's room in a girl's office into your little zen space um happy birthday just makes you feel like it's your birthday okay so nothing wrong with that it smells one of my um one of my girls said that it smells like a birthday confetti cake and it does okay so the other one i was showing you earlier sorry the other one i was showing you earlier is blueberry rush blueberry rush i got an abundance of during um when it first came out for the bring back my bar i honestly didn't even melt it yet i don't think i don't i'm not sure but i didn't like it then somehow i like it now <laughs> it works really nicely into my bedroom again i don't think i would put this into a, a big open concept i did not i think I did not like it when it was in a big open concept because I don't I don't like to feel like I wasted my cube because these are pretty pricey, right? They're like six dollars for one, six for thirty. I always tell you guys use the bundle and save six for thirty. 
I know though for one cube, it will last at least eight hours. I have not had one yet that did not last eight hours. So if you're putting in three cubes into your warmer, four cubes, you're thinking like, okay, that whole four cube in there is now supposed to last eight times four is what? 32 hours or one, two, three, four days. I always say a day. Even though it says eight hours, it, to me it's a day because I'm putting in morning and then it's lasting until the end, the end of the night, right? But if you're thinking that you're going to put four cubes into your warmer all at once and then all of a sudden you're thinking like, okay, it should last me four or five days, but it doesn't because they're all melting at once. So when they're all melting at once, it's going to have that power punch in there um, as far as performing, but still you're melting it. And as, as soon as it melts, since it says it should last eight, eight hours. So do not expect it to last two weeks if you put like so much in there. Because I do have a warmer in here. What was that? The boots? The Christmas boots that the dish is like, you can put a whole brick in there. Uh, I, I, okay, don't do that. One, two, three max is good, but it's up to you. Okay, blueberry rush. Um, let's see. I've been enjoying my lemon vervana. Um, it's in the catalog. It's refreshing. It's a very um, punch um, lemon scent. So if you like that, Go for it. That's um, my go-to. Pistachio ice cream was um, no longer available. I, I'm not. I'm trying to think if it was our bring back my bars. I don't think so. But I have a few of this, and it's always nice to bring it out during the spring and summer. I like it. I'm trying to go through this and not having it so long. Okay, the new ones. The new ones that I've been trying out. Do we or don't we? I love this. It's a cantaloupe smell. I love cantaloupe. I like this. So I went through, I thought I went through two of them. But maybe, maybe I did not bring it. I, I knew I went through another one. So maybe it was part of me that threw that. Okay. But I like this. This is part of the new catalog, the new release scent. Do we or don't we? It's a nice refreshing, fresh, um, fresh in the sense of fruity cantaloupe, but not overpowering ca um, cantaloupe. It just smells like you're making a cantaloupe smoothie okay my other go-to scent it's a it's a um it came out during the the holidays two years ago so this is wassail wonderland this one's empty and i like this as well oh when i clean my house and expecting company that's when i clean my house and i'm expecting company that's why i put on overabundance of uh, sent into the warmers or brand new brand new like i'll put one or two in the living room and then i'll put one into the kitchen i'll put one into the bathroom like you're kind of refreshing it right it's like so that when somebody comes like oh my gosh that smells so good oh yeah it smells like that every day <laughs> it doesn't but when you have scentsy as much as you know some of us do it can smell like that every day but when you're stingy like me <laughs> you're kind of like okay it smelled good today <sighs> let it rest tomorrow Two days from now, let's go. It's going to smell good again. But Wassail Wonderland, I wish that it would come back. I, I'm hoping my fingers, it comes back in a brick form because this is such a good performer. It smells like, um, cit it has citrus note in there because, of course, oranges. Um, oranges, citrus, mandarin, and then it just makes your whole house smell so good. And just one one is enough for my open concept to last me the, that full day of a, of a great scent okay oh my gosh i have so much okay banana nut bread i've been enjoying my banana nut bread as well um you guys know it just smells like banana nut bread so i have that into my scentsy club i wanted to use up my rainbows and butterflies this was a uh, scent of the month along with my unicorn stella like last year i wasn't too happy with this but i wanted to use it up i actually use this as gifting when when local people um not local people my local customers would order for me or i had a teacher's gift or a friend gift part of their birthday i'd bundle them up so just because i didn't like it that didn't mean that it didn't smell good it just means that i personally did not like it so i use this as one of my gifting uh scents to gift people okay so Sweet plum pastry, that was the other one. 
alpine meadows again that's how i feel about the um the rainbows and butterflies not my cup of tea so i do have um some of it plenty of it because i do have that scent of the month every month which i have a video over here for the next scent of the month and warmer of the month so i'll see if i can do that tomorrow lemon sorbet i have lemon sorbet and pineapple sorbet it's one of my favorites um go to spring and summer um they both this one tastes i mean tastes smells like um almost like the pina colada cha cha yeah very similar to it um very similar to it um i can tell the difference but then if if you don't have both of them it's one or the other um it, it, it's fine it's good the other one is a lemon survey this one reminds me of a lemon mamba or starburst or those lemon candies that we used to get a long time ago um it smells so good okay i like this as well one of my go-to but it's, it's it's a light scent rainforest bungalow you guys know this is in my scented club this is one of the scents into the scentsy i'm glad that it came back it's not woodsy it's like a bungalow like a rainforest the name fits it so well it's a rainforest bungalow scent if a rainforest if bali had a scent out into the wilderness if the amazon had a scent into the wilderness if you go to hawaii and you get you know at the waterfall and you just smelling the air it's that scent okay so it just smells like rainforest okay surrounded by trees and and mist and dew i also went through i went through a um what do you call these pods for my scentsy and this was the pumpkin roll <laughs> my scentsy go that was the pumpkin roll okay so hugging a mug went through that um jonathan mostly is the one that likes this into his room smells like a um chocolate um hot chocolate okay and then the other one was banana berry i broke this out it smells good it smells like um it smells fruity with bananas in there um kind of hard to describe but this was part of our scentsy club i got a few of these as well i like it it's 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 mixed in with the banana nut bread but then if you don't want that whole banana smell then you um, use this one and then honestly i think if you like this one and it's not available you can mix a banana bread but then again banana bread is also um bring back my bar so if you didn't have that but banana berry is a berry note to it like a strawberry note um raspberry mixed in with the banana bread kind of smell aloha water and cucumber is currently still available it's a nice refreshing scent i like it into my bedroom my bathroom um kitchen it's it's nice overall um kind of meditating room if you have a meditating room one this one's really nice not as strong of a performer but really in there when you do put like two cubes those are the um, bars or the scent that i recommend that if you have an open concept put two or three kind of there because one is not gonna have that nice throw to just um put it out but it is perfect um for a bathroom an office or a bedroom Kahiko Hula, I'm still crying over this because Kahiko Hula was one of my favorite scents. I have some, but I did not buy in abundance because I thought it was coming back. I I thought it was it was always here. Five years I've been into Scentsy as a customer, five or six years now, maybe even seven. It was always here. I took it for granted, and all of a sudden, in this spring and summer, it was not there. I thought like, oh my gosh, what happened? hell i i have a few i say i have 10 maybe eight bars that's not enough when it's kahiko kohula so i was hoping that it would be on the the bring back my bar so the bring back my bar there's um the new scents that are coming back is on my facebook page it didn't come back because it was into the last catalog the last spring catalog so the bring back my bars on the next one which is the fall or yeah no january when next year january when we start voting for that two months before then um hopefully it should be into that uh choices to um to choose it wasn't on this one strawberry um sugared strawberry is our scent of the month for this month uh i showed you guys a video it's nice it's okay i'm not so in love with it but it is a nice strawberry scent. Um, my most favorite uh, favorite strawberry scent is my coastal strawberry. So I'm kind of spoiled with that. Starfruit and nectar. I did open this up. It's no longer available. Again, I opened it up because if you guys can tell, that's 
that's the sweating I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit sweating but it's very light a very light set so that's it friends I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry I rushed it I know I talk super fast because I have so much information to share um so much scent and I just want to just kind of combine it um but I love Sensi. I thank you guys for staying um, with me uh, watching these videos for the consultants or the customers that come in here trying to get these sets and this is why I make these videos it's one for consultants so that they can share it um for their customers or so they can know it as well but also for the customers, I have customers in here that order so that you know like what are my favorites and what's out there, what's available. I do have a warmer of the month for the month of May that I will be making um, on this video. There are new um, specials right now going on. Um, visit my website. I believe there's still some uh, mother uh, Mother's Day bundles still available. Some of it have already sold. Um, there's the new warmer for a police officer warmer and then a firefighter um warmer um the bundle that it came with the buddy is no longer available i shared that on a simply simple life it just got sold out really fast it's so hard for me to share things with you guys when it comes out because it's while, while supplies last and either sensi is just so popular right now and everybody is grabbing these um because right sensi is making plenty but people are just grabbing it um consultants are grabbing it by the lump sum to be able to to sell to their customers that don't have time to be able to order it online unfortunately when when it comes out i do share it on my facebook so follow me there so that you guys can get the latest news okay as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo the cubes start popping out it should oh shit <laughs> sorry sorry said a bad word sorry edit i'll put that in but um